try and wear a common camera and don't look half <laughs> dead. Oh god, I always seem to film on days where I'm not wearing makeup and I mean like look at my hair right now. Like, sorry everyone. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to keep this bit in the video or if I'm going to do this bit with um, Brad but um, welcome to our moving vlogs. Um, it's very exciting. It's terrifying to say, very exciting too. Um, so where do I begin? I'm moving basically. I'm still going to be living in London. Um, it's not a huge move. I'm literally moving like not too far away from where I live now but I'm moving in with my boyfriend. Um, you have met Brad before. He was in my vlogmas videos in 2018. He's the really, really tall guy. Um, he's been in my videos before. He's going to be in these videos. He's going to be in many videos to come. So yeah, we're basically moving in together. Um, it's our first place together since we were at university. Um, so it's our first place together as a couple rather than just friends, um, which is very, very exciting. And we wanted to take you guys along with us through the whole moving process. Mainly it's so that we can watch it back. Um, this is like a huge thing for us. And I've mentioned before how much I love watching my videos back. Um, just to kind of remind myself of things that I've done, like hanging out with friends, that kind of thing. And this is definitely something that I want to remember. So we're going to film kind of the whole process ish um it's gone a lot a lot quicker than we thought it would and we move in two weeks and two days from when i'm filming this um when these go live we're probably already moved but um yeah we're moving in like two weeks from now which is very exciting but it does mean that we have a lot to do um so i literally have to pack up my entire room that's going to be one of my tasks for today um, and then we've got to like do all Brad's packing and then do the whole move moving process, buying new furniture, etc, etc. Um, so yeah, it's very exciting. Yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to film. I'm, I've am i been very out of practice with the filming, as you probably guessed if you look back on my channel. Um, but I want to, I really, really want to remember this time. So I'm going to try my best to film as much as I can of the whole kind of packing and moving process. I'm going to try do like an empty house tour um because we've got a house not a flat so I'm going to do an empty house tour um kind of us getting everything settled in and then like another house tour maybe in like six months when we've got a few more bits of furniture and things in um gonna do like a blog series on it and everything yeah we're just very very excited <laughs> It's much later in the day now. Um, I've got slightly changed. Went for a run, nothing crazy. Um, I'm about to kind of just finish up for the day, but I thought that I would show you my progress of packing, which you can see here. And it's making me really sad. It feels really real. Um, so my wardrobe is now pretty much empty. Um, I've taken like my shoe racks down. I've taken so many clothes out. It feels really, really weird to have like hardly any clothes in there. So I've only got enough in there to kind of do me for the next few weeks. Um, and I might put a few more of those clothes away as well. Um, and yeah, all of these cases and things are like just full of, of stuff. So this big case is just full of clothes. So I can still use the front two pockets. Um, but the actual case itself is just completely full. Um, to the point where I stood it up and then rammed even more clothes in the top just to make sure it was really full. These are all the coat hangers for the clothes that have been put in the case. Um, top tip that I've just kind of 
done with this. I know most people put um, coat hangers in a carrier bag when they've kind of packing and everything. What I've done, because carrier bags can be really messy, I've just tied like a bobble around the hooks on them all and put them in little batches. So yeah, I mean they're velvet ones, I don't know how I'm going to transport them. I might still put them in a carrier bag, but it just means that they're not going to get kind of all muddled up or anything. They're all just kind of neat and they'll all just sit there really neatly now as well, which is good. This little case down here is full of shoes. There's still quite a bit of room in there. I put a few more clothes in this bag. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the clothes out of this bag and put them on top of the shoes so that that case is completely finished. And then this, I can put like all my underwear and little bits and bobs that I've still got left in my drawers in when I kind of come to the last few days. So then that will be full. That's like a big hold all. And then that's just got like some spare carrier bags and stuff in. This is a box that still needs filling. I think what I'm going to put in there is all my books, which I might still do this evening. Um, and just kind of put all those in there and then any room that's left, like I can just chuck whatever in. This bag, that's washing, ignore that, that's just bedding. Um, but this bag here is full. I put my jumpers on the top but at the bottom. Um, it's just like random bits and pieces like candles and things. This is a bag for the charity shop. I think I'm going to have to do another one of these as well. Um, and then yeah, I've got like all my, you can't see down here, but these are all my shoe boxes um, that have shoes in obviously. I need to go through these bits here. Maybe go through those bits again. Um, and then I think next week my job is going to be this area. If the camera wants to focus. Yeah, there we go. Um, so like my desk is full. It's got like a little cupboard at the side. So I'm going to go through all of that. I'm going to pull my little um, shelving out that's got DVDs and things in. That is today's progress. I'm feeling quite quite happy about it actually. I've done quite a bit and I, I think if I can get this pink suitcase filled tonight and the box with some bits in I'll feel even better. But yeah it's starting to feel really real now um, which is a little bit scary. Um, I've sorted out like my last night with my flatmate, um, all of that kind of stuff and yeah it's really weird packing up this room. This was like a massive deal for me moving down here and like this room has gone through a lot with me like a whole lot so yeah that's it for this evening um that's my packing kind of done i might do a tiny tiny bit more but i'm not going to show you guys um so i'll see you the next day or the next video i don't really know but yeah bye i've got montages of me packing in my room so i figured we'd do some of you i wasn't there was i no filming me secretly. Right! What shit am I gonna do? It's slightly discoloured. No, it's really nice because it's really retro. So when you wear it, you look like you're in the 80s, and people go, oh my god, Brad, you look so retro. And I'm like, yeah, I do, don't I? Yeah, I do. 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 Yeah, I Fee. <laughs> 